It's so good to finally see you again, Geralt. After all this time- No, no, see, who made this? You have not played Witcher 3. <laughs> Here's a little bit of uh, Joe lore for you. I think gloves are pretty sexy. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I just remembered. <laughs> I've, I've forgotten again. I can't tell you. Sorry. I've forgotten again. All right. So we're doing justice for all, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's get started. Blah, blah. That's far enough. You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh man, what is what are Phoenix and Chad worth doing? <laughs> what a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. Damn, should be a detective. Ah, good, I finally found it. What in the JoJo is this? Good morning. Phoenix, do we know this creature? Bird? Ooh, all right, we're off to a bad start. So this might sound bad, but uh, who are you? I'm the parrot turned into a person. Uh, the prosecution is ready, your honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. Also bird themed, they were uh, birds of a feather. It wasn't me. Pretty sus. Eh, Dick's here. Ah, mm, yeah, uh, yes, uh, this autopsy report, correct? Is it up to date? 9 6 at 6 28 p.m. Cause broken neck, body was also covered in bruises. Hmm, pretty sus. <laughs> Your honor, I have further evidence to present. And I can't, I've forgotten how to do his voice now. Fuck. And this, and this evidence. No, that's Nagita. Fuck. And this evidence is very. This, I can't do. I've forgotten how to do his voice. Available for voice acting, by the way. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. A written confession. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the co- <laughs> But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. Oh, that's wrong. No, her name is is Maggie E. Y. They were dating. He would know that. Oh wait, nah. it's a guy. This isn't like you at all. I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand. Uh, Phoenix, what the fuck is going on over there? Why are you talking to birds so much? He does sort of look like a scatterbrain. This is true. Yeah, I love you. I love you, Dick. But yeah, that's true. Oh, this music isn't as good as the as the first ones. I just made an enemy for life, didn't I? Do you have any proof that those belong to my client? The lenses are for nearsightedness and are almost the same strength as hers. Almost means it's not the same strength. Hold it. Almost and <laughs> Wel Welcome to the stream, everyone. I have two superpowers. It's it's predicting bullshit like this and uh, finding bugs and glitches. Those are my superpowers. I hope you like my superpower. All right, so how stupid is this going to be? Someone's trying to frame her and they just got the name wrong? Or are we actually going to entertain the thought that it was a completely different person named Maggie? Uh, yeah, here we go. I'm a lawyer. I think someone needs to check the court record. All right. It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. It looks like the bird caught the cat napping. Oh, well, what's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. I wish I could read. It was something she had bought over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. And I told her that she should get this clock called The Thinker. Uh, I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Still got a ways to go. Come she got a little thing for Bird? Oh, ah, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. Still had the beard, though. He seems to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss, and I'm in love with her, and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. Much. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. I can't, this is voices all over the place. Mm, I agree. Even if this witness has a question on the defendant, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Damn, even the judge picked up on it. I think Chadworth would have just objected to so much of this shit. So, what was this birthday present? How is that fucking relevant? She got him a glove. The glove was custom made? Yeah, it's in the shape of this clock called the thing. Yeah, that's that's what I said. Oh, hmm. Uh, so the glove was custom made. Why, why the fuck are we talking about this? 
I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great. That's why I killed him, so I could be on be on trial with you. It's just the best. I wanted my whole life to be this. I mean, you, you devoted your whole life to becoming a lawyer just because your friend in elementary school did one little thing for you and then fucked off forever. So, like, me throwing my whole life away and killing my, my boyfriend just to go through this, that makes total sense. We're, we're fucking par for the course. Anyway, this is it, sir. It looks like a fucking bunch of bananas. His finger joints were actually fragile and made of glass, so he had to have a special reinforced baseball glove to play baseball. There's no way he could have written that note in the sand. His fingers would have broken. Okay, that is a right-handed baseball glove. Aren't baseball gloves usually left-handed? I don't know enough baseball to know about that. Wait a sec. Well, he broke his left arm when he fell and he's uh, it was trapped under him or something or it hurt And he didn't want to do it. So he used his non-dominant hand and said there we go done I had a feeling that was a bit too easy Hmm, I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. Now, anime rules, you need to go and like slam your head into the wall Another hit will bring your memory back. Hmm, course adjourned for recess This is a business card. I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. Okay, Roger. No, I'm Phoenix. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. It sounded like a vampire. Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. So, the, the guy who knocked us over with the fire extinguisher at the beginning, that was his phone that we found after we took a nap? That's pretty sus. Ah, uh, you were here all along. You're s oh, she's back. A list of unfamiliar names and phone numbers, members of a con artist group. This con artist group likes to plant their cell phones, and when you try to give it back, they fucking kill you. They're crazy. Wonder what's gonna be on the back of this card that's really important. Oh, Maya's here now. Please state your name for the court witness. Jojo fucking bullshit. I am Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso with a PhD in drifting. Like, driving? Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. Banana? I could go for a banana. Uh, another recess, let's go. Answer the question, how did you know what time it was? I always do, I have a great internal body clock. There was this little thing they call a clock at the park. It was shaped like a, a man sitting on a chair. Your honor, the witness thought he saw bananas, but it was actually this baseball glove that looks like a bunch of bananas. He's lying. Hmm, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so it's a simple mistake to make. What the fuck do you mean, Nick? Yeah, well, yeah, Phoenix. What does that matter? I mean, like, fucking hell, man. Like, we, like an urn in the dark looked like the blue badger. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that pun too hard for someone who only got a third-rate education? Speaking of puns that took a few seconds to get, your, your boy Joe realized that the lawyer from Breaking Bad, he is a lawyer that makes things go away, and his name is Saul Goodman. Like, Saul Goodman, like, it was until two days ago that I realized... <laughs> you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you? How, how did you? Oh, oh, but, but Phoenix, how, how did he call his own cell phone when his cell phone was missing? Huh, you can't make a call if you don't have your phone. Yeah, mm, yeah that's a good point. Mm, well, yeah. Now then, please present to the court proof that the witness had a motive. Fuck. Uh, I'm a lawyer. He really wanted his phone back quickly. He wanted the baseball glove. No, this is too much. They might have looked at the phone numbers and known that those phone numbers were of con artists before they gave me the phone back. Better kill them. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. All right, so better kill him. And then he went to a panic is what you're saying. And then there was a witness to that murder, so he had to kill them too. Oh, oh yeah, the four of the murders that happened in that same week in that same park. Oh, they're connected, exactly. This is a bad start for Ace Attorney 2. When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. You fucking idiot. You fucking moron. No, not the one that's in his hand that I just called. No, I'm gonna take the other one that's in his pocket. You dumber than chat thinking that Deltarune isn't a sequel. Like, holy shit. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. A free bird. Not guilty. Confetti court! Confetti court, yeah! Woo! Confetti court. 
since I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. Like a bird falling from the nest? I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. One time I was in an elevator and almost suffocated. And this girl, Maya? You finally remembered. This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example, sometimes her boobs get ten times bigger, and she gets a little taller. That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Oh god, I hope it, it's not a long story. Brand new episode has been added. Reunion and turnabout. Oh god, it's a really long story. Alright. Fucking hell.